pain. You know, it's a lot of people are dealing with it, and a lot of people are taking prescription drugs to manage it. Well, our next guest says you don't have to take drugs to stop the pain. Kate Ellis is a clinical counselor and hypnotherapist, and with her is Elisa Brancati. She is one of Kate's clients, and it's so good to have you back, Kate. So good Thank to have you, so you here, Elisa. I want to tell your story in just a minute, but first, Kate, I want everybody to understand what it is that you do to help stop the pain through hypnotherapy. How does that work? I, I hypnotize you and get to the subconscious. Actually, pain is a perception, so you can literally turn it down like a volume. Yeah. You had a client, or yes, a client in here uh, last time where he was suffering from anxiety, and you mm -hmm. said there's a switch in the brain. Is, yes. it, is there still that switch when it comes to pain? With anxiety and panic attacks, there's literally a switch in the psyche. With pain, it's like a volume control where you can turn it down to a tolerable level. Of course, you never turn it off because pain tells you that there's something going on with the body. Mm -hmm. However, you can turn it down to tolerable levels. Okay. When people think about hypnotherapy, they think, oh, you know, voila. <laughs> la la stuff, but that is actually not the case. You are, are, are highly educated and, and trained and qualified. Give me your background. Well, I've been a hypnotherapist, a counselor and a hypnotherapist for 30 years. I started at the Chicago Hypnosis Foundation and became certified through the American Association of Ethical Hypnotherapists and other associations. For over 15 years, I actually studied different modes of hypnosis and hypnotherapy, neurolinguistic programming and stuff like that. Wow, and yes. stuff like that. And There's a lot like of that. stuff there. there. There is. There's a lot of stuff there. Elisa, um, I want to talk about your story because you are a fitness trainer. You teach fitness classes. You eat clean. Fitness has been a part of your life until one day the pain became unbearable for you, the pain in your body. Yes. What were you doing prior to seeing Kate? How were you, how were you dealing with the pain? I was taking ibuprofen from morning till night. I could not go to bed without taking uh, ibuprofen, I did steroid packs, I've done um, uh, physical therapy, I've done chiropractor, massages, I've done everything. Everything, until yes. the, the pain became so unbearable, you found Kate, and what was your thought when you first went to see Kate? And you're like, you know, is this, this really gonna work? Or what was, did that go through your mind? I, I wanted a holistic approach, and a lot of people thought, you're going to a hypnotherapist? What is, you know, what is that about? How's, how's it to be hypnotized? I'm like, it's not like that. And I found her, and I, I started, and it's been the best thing for me. And I know when I, I go, I, I, some people can, it can bring it down in, within a few sessions, but I need to go every month for maintain. Okay. And okay. when I don't go, I know it. You know it. You told me that there were days where you couldn't even get out of bed mm -hmm. and, and walk. You were in so much pain. Yet you had to go teach an exercise mm -hmm. class or personal train someone. Mm -hmm. um, how many how many sessions have you done with Kate thus far? Do you do you know? I can't even count. <laughs> okay, a lot. Okay, that's fine. I, mean, that's she fine. I think it's been about about six. I see her maybe yes. every six weeks, okay. every mm -hmm. six to nine weeks sometimes. And with yeah. Kate or, or with Elisa, you said that, that it's. With some people, you can help with that volume Correct. very quickly. Mm -hmm. Others may take some time or more maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, how do you know? Well, pain, uh, pain not only is physiological, but it's also, it can be an anxiety reaction. I work specialized with anxiety and, and panic disorders and migraine headaches, pain, sometimes fibromyalgia, uh, colitis, ileitis, Crohn's wow. disease, uh, IBS issues often are actually an anxiety reaction. Instead of having a panic attack, you have a physiological symptom such as migraine headaches. And uh, after a few sessions, it literally it turns them off again like a switch. Elisa, how do you feel today? I'm feeling much better. I really am. I, I, I do need to keep going to see her, though. That's mm -hmm. just my part of my med you know, my part of my program. I, I truly believe that pain is not only physical, but it is mental, too. Mm -hmm. And trying to control that is very important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I really appreciate you coming in and mm -hmm. sharing your story. Thank and Kate, you. once again, it's a fascinating topic, and she's helped so many people. She can help you as well, but she is offering you a free orientation. This is a one-on-one -on -one orientation. Uh, it's the Healing Quest Clinical Counseling Hypnotherapy. That's what the center is called. She's located in Old Town Scottsdale. Here's the number to call to set up that free orientation 480-695-1936 learn more off the website healingquest.com